This is Science Hutch. I'm Hutch, and this is the science. Um, so we're looking at today, we're looking at AP Physics 1, investigation number seven from the College Board. This investigation is all about rotational motion. So the central challenge of the investigation, I've written out Mrs. Linear Speed. This is just to help you remember what we're doing. MRS is an acronym for Mass Radius and shape. And what we want to find out is how does mass, radius, and shape of different objects that roll down a ramp affect their linear speed at the bottom of the ramp. Um, some background information here. Now you're going to get more in uh, your physics class, but you want to get something to roll, you need to put a torque on it. Without a torque, it's not going to roll, it's just going to skid down your ramp. The torque comes from friction force that gets applied um, at the radius of the ball or the hoop or whatever's rolling. Real world applications in this lab, um, we have cyclists who are going to be in a race. If they're going to be in a short race, they want a low rotational inertia in their bicycle tire. So they're going to pick something with the mass more concentrated towards the center, um, thick spokes or, or a very thin rim to the tire. Um, and a cyclist that's going in a long race is going to need their uh, rotational inertia higher on the tire. So they're going to need a wheel more like this, where the mass is thicker towards the outside. It's going to make the tire more stable as they're rolling along. It's harder to get that to fall over. Um, the other real world application mentioned by the College Board is about ice skaters in conservation of angular momentum. As they start to get spinning, they're gonna stick their arms and legs way out. That's gonna extend their mass to a bigger radius, giving them more rotational inertia, making that I bigger in your angular momentum equation. They're gonna have a low rotational speed, but then they're gonna drop the rotational inertia by bringing their arms and legs in nice and close to that axis of rotation, and they're gonna get higher angular speed because of that. All right, let's go check out the equipment we're gonna need for the lab. Okay. Welcome, here's all of our equipment. Out of all the College Board experiments, this one is the most equipment intense. We have Sphere World, we have Cylinder World over here, and you're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff that you wanna provide your students to just kind of experiment with creating a ramp for themselves. Now to keep things simple, I have just pulled the ramp made out of the C channel for the first investigation, our 1 and 2D kinematics experiment. But this is basically what they wanna create but they want to create something that will accommodate large spheres and large cylinders to roll down if you're going to have those, those kind of things. Um, they want a ramp and then they want a flat area down here where the object can roll down and then they can track its linear speed. You have two options from the College Board. Number one, you can do qualitative. Qualitative is where they're just going to see um, basically does the mass matter? Does the radius matter? Does the shape matter for the object? The shapes that they could test in the qualitative section are hollow spheres like this kickball, solid spheres like this um, lacrosse ball or marbles or bouncy balls or the ball bearings that we rolled in the 1 and 2D kinematics experiment. Golf balls work as well. Ping pong balls might work or you want to give them as options as hollow spheres. Then you have cylinders. You have solid cylinders and you have hollow cylinders. Um, you can do like thin cylinders. Uh, if you want to have them test the extra variable of length, you can give them really long cylinders and see if that matters. Then they want to set up their ramps. You want to set up your ramp so that it's not too steep. The extreme ramps don't provide enough friction and the object will just slide down instead of roll. You want roll. You want roll the entire time. And the quantitative experiment is where they're going to set it up so it rolls down and rolls along a horizontal surface. They want to s figure out what is that linear speed at the end, comparing it to the gravitational potential energy at the top of their ramp, and then comparing it to the kinetic energy they expect at the bottom, uh, they'll see that they have less linear kinetic energy than they expected. The, the question is why? Where did the energy go? Was it destroyed? Nope. You gotta do the lab to find out. All right, thanks. This has been Science Hutch. I'm Hutch. This is Science. And keep physicsing. <laughs>